Welcome back. The Jacksonville Icemen now have points in each of their last three games, including a win a couple of nights ago here at home. Here's a look at some of the highlights. The team is on the road today and tomorrow before coming back to the River City for three games in three nights. And joining me now is the voice of the Icemen, Alex Reed. And Alex, what has changed in the last week with the team? You know, I, I think uh, the guys are just starting to, to kind of come together, kind of get that gelling a little bit that happens. Um, I think one of the advantages of all the teams that we've played early in the year was uh, they had a lot of their core come back um, you know, from the previous years, where this year we had so many new players. It's virtually a, a different look in Iceman team, and, and I think they're just now starting to, to, to you know, figure out the system that Coach Christie's uh, has put in place and starting to uh, you know kind of yeah, learn each other's uh, habits uh, on the ice, and uh, it, it's really they're starting to believe right now. And uh, they've really put together some pretty good efforts, and uh, it's definitely paid off for them. And, and the guys are having a lot of fun here as of late. And is there anyone on the team that the coach is really seeing has most improved recently? I, I think uh, Nick Saraceno is a, one of those guys. He's really been doing a lot. Of, he's been really bringing a lot of production uh, to the lineup uh, and onto the score sheet here. Um, I mean, we, we knew he was a very talented player, and he's one of those guys that's kind of now adjusted to the system, and, and he's playing with a, a lot of consistency right now. It seems like every time he's on the ice, he's making a factor, and, and some of the other teams are, are, are taking notice. So uh, I think he – and then some of the younger guys, some of the rookies uh, are, are now starting to adjust uh, to the, the pro style of, of play and, uh, and starting to get their game right now. And somebody, as somebody who watches these games very closely, is there anything that you would say that this team really needs to work on in the coming days? I think right now it's consistency. I think, uh, um, and also just, you know, the, the, the mental part of the game, um, you know, it, it's, I think the guys are playing hard. I think Coach Christie's very happy with the way that the players have been playing. I, even in the game the other night, uh, we did lose in the shootout. We picked up a point in the standings. He really loved how the team played, but when it came down to it, there was probably two or three minutes in the game where there's just some mental lapses and they, they ended up being costly for us. So if, they, if the team can clean that up, uh, but continue to play, and then the guys really liking how they're playing, they really believe that uh, they can compete with anybody in the division uh, when they play that way. Uh, they can clean up the mental mistakes. Uh, I think uh, you know, things, the team's going to find itself uh, uh, you know, with more wins and, and more points here down the road. And Alex, the ECHL announced earlier this week that two more teams are coming into the league next season. What does that say for the league and for the growth of the sport? You know, I think it's one of those things where you know, the ECHL, um, you know, heading into this year with everything going on with COVID, uh, you had 27 uh, league members. They were bringing on the two new teams here, uh, the one in, in, in Quebec up in Canada and the other one in Iowa. And, it, you know, I, I think there's a real good footprint for this league uh, all across uh, you know, North America. Um, I, I think the league is very strong, very, very sound. Um, and, and this is just another testament to that, that you have more markets trying to get involved here with this league. And, you know, obviously things were going on with, with the COVID-19 and it's forced half the league to not play this year. But when things get back to a little bit of a normalcy here and those teams get, and, you know, some of those rules and regulations that have limited those teams from playing this year, uh, due you know, to social distancing and safety. Uh, once we get past all of that, boy, this is really going to be a, a league that uh, is even stronger when those two teams get into play. And, and also there's a lot of other markets that are, that are interested in, in, in getting on board. So things are looking good for the league, uh, even with everything that's been uh, going on here as of late. And the team is back home this next weekend. How can people get tickets? Uh, they can go to uh, jacksiceman.com. Uh, all, all of our ticket information is on there as well. Uh, again, three big games here coming up on January 22nd, 23rd, and 24th against a big rival of ours, the Florida Everblades, uh, whom we, we defeated uh, earlier in the week down at, down at third place. So they're going to be a little upset, that, and they're going to be looking for a little bit of payback. But uh, a chance to see the team uh, in some competitive hockey here coming up this weekend there at, uh, uh, at Veterans Memorial Arena. Alex, looking forward to it. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.